Today is the official kickoff of the 2024 NFL Combine in Indianapolis. Chicago Bears coaches, scouts, and executives all head to Indy to see what talent is going to be in this upcoming NFL draft. It is a very exciting time to be a Chicago Bears fan as they have six picks to being in the top 10. And you already know Ryan Poles is going to be scrambling everywhere to learn who wants to trade for some of his picks, who he might take with that number one overall, and what is in store for the 2024 NFL Draft. There's guys like Drake May, Marvin Harrison Jr., Malik Neighbors, Dallas Turner, Jared Verse, Jerzon Newton, Tavondre Sweat, and many, many centers in this upcoming draft and other players that the Chicago Bears can go after. And this is a super talented draft class. Now remember, the Chicago Bears do have $82 million in cap this upcoming offseason thanks to the new cap deciding by the NFL. And I think that Chicago is going to make some moves there, but they're going to want to focus on getting young talent through the draft. With only six picks in this upcoming draft, Chicago is for sure going to be weighing their options of what they can do with that number one or what they can get with the hall. Ryan Poles will be having conversations with other general managers and executives along with Kevin Warren and our coaches to see what trade packages they will get. And trust me, Poles is listening. This is what happened with DJ Moore and the conversation started with that Carolina draft trade last year for the Chicago Bears at the Combine. Hello everyone and welcome back to this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Nick Rohde and I am so excited to bring you guys this episode today about who the Bears are going to be taught eyeing in the NFL Combine. I am going to quickly hit on the top guys at for Chicago. And before I begin today's show, if you're excited for the Combine and who Chicago is potentially going to be taken and the potential number one overall pick trade haul we can get, smash that like button on this video to show your support, along with commenting who you're excited to see at the Combine this week or just a bear down to show your support for the Chicago Bears this offseason. We didn't hit 14,000 before the Combine began, but that's okay, because I'm still going to give away something. I am giving away an autographed Brian Urlacher jersey to celebrate the Combine and the official start before the draft. To enter, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like this video, and comment who you're excited to see at the Combine. Winner will be announced this Friday. So let's get into the five big groups that I'm going to be going over today. Wide receiver, edge, defensive tackle center, and quarterback. I'm going to do quarterback last because I have a little bit of a different take of who I would want the Bears to take. So to start with the wide receiver room, obviously there's Marvin Harrison Jr. The 6'4", 205 pound wide receiver from Ohio State University runs a 4.3940 time. He is the best wide receiver in this upcoming draft and he's going to show off at the combine. He's going to increase his value even more and also that helps the Bears number one overall pick because someone might want to go get him. He has the best footwork, best hands, and best agility. Pretty much anything that you need out of a wide receiver in this entire class. He is the top pick for this position, maybe even the top pick in the draft. And he's going to show that off this weekend. Poles is going to be sweating because he knows that Marvin Harrison Jr. and Caleb Williams are going to be the top pick in this draft, no doubt about it. Then you have guys like Malik Neighbors from LSU, who is six foot, 200 pounds, runs a 4.440 time. Again, we're going to get official 40 times to see truly how fast these guys are on without pads. I think he's DJ Moore 2.0, maybe even a Debo Samuel type player. You don't get that with or, or have that type of status with 18 yard per catch average and 14 touchdowns this past season for the Tigers. Dude is fast, great downfield vision, great hands are like glue and he's very reliable plays a lot bigger than six foot then you have guys like roman dudze who could be the number nine overall pick in this upcoming draft 6'3, 215 runs a 4.37 40 times faster than marvin harrison jr and one inch shorter his side speed and strength top three talent for sure in this upcoming draft he can catch anything, anywhere, anytime. He's a first down machine. Again, also hands like glue and great footwork allow him to get away from defenders. And you're going to see that in all the agility tests this upcoming combine. And then the guy that I think a lot of people are still overlooking is Brian Thomas Jr. Also from LSU. The 6'4", 205 pound wide receiver runs a 4.47 40 time before the combine. Fantastic red zone target can also go deep. Footwork is crazy for how big he is. And he's he as fast as the other guys? No, but he makes up for it for other ways. He uses his sides to his advantage to beat out smaller defenders and also a fantastic blocking wide receiver. We'll need that replacement for Equinamia St. Brown if we don't re-sign him, but a very big sleeper in this draft in Chicago. If they trade back that number nine, can get him a little later. Obviously, my guy in this upcoming draft is Marvin Harrison Jr. If we do trade the number one overall back a few spots and we're still able to get him, do I need to go into detail why? I mean, this guy is absolutely fantastic, but if we don't, 
don't trade that number one overall pick and do take another player of need at that number one pick and don't trade back, I'm taking Roma Dunze from Washington. This guy is fantastic, big, strong, would fit really well, and he idolized a lot of Bears legends, and you know he'd appreciate wearing that navy and orange. Let's go to the second position group, and that is the edges, starting with Dallas Turner from Alabama. Big dude at 6'4", 260 pounds, and runs a 4.540 time with pads on. Arguably the fastest first step in college football right now, and any opposing offensive line's nightmare because they can't stop him. And obviously that showed on paper, 53 total tackles, 15 tackles for loss, and 10 sacks this past year for Alabama. Great guy to develop alongside Montez Sweat on a rookie contract. His size, agility, and speed is going to be on show this upcoming weekend. And I'm excited to hear what he does in his interview because apparently he's a very smart guy on and off the field. Would love to see what Dallas Turner brings to the table. Then you got Jared Verse. 6'4", 260 pounds, runs a 4.59, 40 time. Fast, fast, fast. Not as fast as Turner, but this guy, just how he's built and how he plays is just crazy. Motor allows him to fly past any sort of offensive tackle, and he can play on the inside if needed, making him a massive threat. A sack machine, nine last year for Florida State University, 13 tackles for loss, and over 20 quarterback hits. This guy is super special. Swim moves are stupid good, great footwork, and plays more like a middle linebacker versus an edge with his speed and agility. Love this guy at the outside. Would be fantastic for Chicago. And then I haven't, I haven't hit on this guy in a while, but you know they have him in the second round now, which I think is insane. But Chop Robinson out of Penn State, 6'4", 245 pounds. Runs a 4.640 times, so a little slower than the other guys, but still crazy athletic for a dude his size. No one is stopping him when he gets to the backfield. He is much stronger than he looks. I mean, he does look like an absolutely strong man, but his draft stock has fallen due to an injury this past year, but still top talent. He is legit Jared Verse, but 15 pounds lighter and 0.1 seconds slower. Great spin moves, great bull rush, and a true chef's kiss at an edge position. My guy out of the three is Jared Verse. I really like him, especially if we do a trade back or we stick at nine. He reminds me a lot of Montez Sweat, and those two together would be unstoppable with the size, the burst, and the build. He's also a very reliable player, has not missed any games in college. Fantastic injury history, which gives us a for sure guy. His agility is great too. He's projected between the 10 and 15. We allow us to trade back that nine a little bit if we had to, but excited to see what he does at the combine to see out of these three, who is truly the number one. At defensive tackle, another need for the Bears, which I think they'll address in free agency, but just going to hit on it here. There are, because there are some pretty talented ones this year that we also could take later, but the number one guy in the draft right now is Drazan Newton from Illinois. 6'2", almost 300 pounds, 4.95, 40 time for a guy that big is crazy fast and crazy athletic. He is a one-man wrecking crew, beat centers and guards off the snap all the time, which makes him get in the backfield and had over 10 sacks this past year with Illinois. Create strong pressure at all times. Offenses have to design game plans around this guy, and they'll have to do that in the NFL as well. Then you have Trevande Sweat from Texas, 6'4", 362-pound defensive tackle, runs a 5.140 time. Crazy. That That is insane how fast this guy is for his size dude just bullies anybody in front of him he's literally a wall with his strength and size very active hands to swat away interior offensive linemen and great balance and burst with his footwork make him play a lot lighter than he is just overall a good pickup to get for the chicago bears projected in the late second if we trade back we can get him at maybe a second round pick and then mckinley jackson from texas a&m a projected third round pick which the bears have at 6'1 331 pounds and runs a 4.9 40 time that is terrifying for how big and how built he is to be that fast his burst is unmatched literally in the back round backfield after every snap his leverage allows him to bulldoze over interior guards and backfields to stop the run at all times Crazy good moves, swat away offensive lineman, and is a beast. My guy out of the pick is Travande Sweat. Texas, his size and speed up the middle is unmatched. He'd make the great wall of Chicago with him and Billings and Javon Dexter Sr. and Pickens. I mean, this guy is totally one of the best, and I think one of my favorite prospects in this draft for falling out of the first round. It's just that the one thing that people don't like about him is how big he is. They, you know, there's a factor if he can, you know, stay in shape. Like, I was like, dude, what am I reading? These guys are meant to be massive men. And he is a fantastic pickup in the second round. That is why I want us to trade back, but we'll see what Ryan Poles ends up doing. Let's go through the centers. There's three really good ones that I like a lot. And I'm going to choose one of them for you guys. I think the Bears can snag. Obviously, the number one guy is Jackson Powers Johnson from Oregon. 6'3", 334 pounds, runs a 5.040 time. The best center in the draft at the moment, no doubt. Fantastic footwork, great at reading 
and defense is very versatile player. He can do it all from pass blocking and run blocking. Reliable plays all the time. No penalties. Very smart. Always in the in the film room, learning defenses, and would be a great ability for any quarterback that we do end up having next year. Just the thing about him is that he jumped from the third round to the first round because of the senior bowl, did fantastic, and you know he's going to put on a show at the Combine. Then you got Zach Frazier from West Virginia, 6'3", 314 pounds, 5.2, 40 times. Don't need to be fast when you're up the middle. But his ability to pancake and overpower defenders one-on-one -on -one is fantastic. Plays older than he is. Acts like he's been in the NFL before. I think he's the most NFL ready out of the three guys I'm going over today. But crazy burst, able to work in on double teams as well and creates holes up the middle all the time for his running backs and quarterbacks. Would be huge in goal line situations in four from one. Then you have Zedric Fanprom from Georgia. Still my number one guy, and that's going to be my pick, and here's why. 6'4", 310 pounds, 5.27, 40 times. Projected third round pick because of how those other two have been doing and climbing up the draft chart. His size is massive, long, strong arms can hold anyone in front of him back. On top of it, he doesn't get penalized. He's arguably the best run blocking center in this upcoming draft. He hits a second level so well, very athletic and smooth footwork. Not only that, but he's literally one of the smartest guys in the upcoming draft. Like coaches say that he's so well presented, very smart, knows defenses, knows how to call out things. Overall, very good pickup. Would love for the Bears to get him in the third round if they don't go with a defensive tackle, but overall, fantastic pickup. Now, before I get into quarterbacks, please make sure you get your tickets to our first ever draft party this upcoming April, April 25th, 2024 at 6 p.m. Central Time at Rizzo's Barn Inn in Wrigleyville. It is going to be amazing. Presented by Freshy Organic Tequila Seltzer. We'll have other podcasters, former and current players. We'll have even more of an activities and you get to be at history while the Bears make their two, first two picks in this upcoming draft at Rizzo's. Don't miss it. All donation ticket donations go to College Bound Opportunities, a first generation college student nonprofit. I was a part of it. It helped me get to where I am today, and I'm so grateful for them. And I would love for you guys to learn more about it. But you could donate a dollar, you could donate $50, you could donate a thousand dollars. It doesn't matter. We want you guys there. We appreciate your support for both us and College Bound Opportunities. And we can't wait to see you guys. Tickets in the description. Also, there was a QR code. Just please, and if you have any questions, please reach out to us. So let's go into the quarterbacks. That's what everyone really wants to hear about, right? Obviously, Drake May from UNC. 6'4", 230 pounds. Much different build than Caleb Williams. Another top quarterback in this draft could be the number two overall pick. Great arm, incredible accuracy, great footwork. Overall, just a fantastic athlete. Reminds me a lot of Jay Cutler in a way. Just uh, his toughness and how he plays, but he has a Peyton Manning type arm, Peyton Manning type accuracy. Nothing against Cuddy. I, th I think he was great. Smoking Jay was one of my favorite players growing up. But overall, he is a big quarterback that can take it himself, also throw it downfield. Fantastic athlete, committed to his team. He had offers from everywhere else and he chose UNC because that's the team he grew up cheering up for and wanted to do great for themselves. He could bump up to the number one if he shows out and Caleb Williams struggles. That's how crazy this upcoming combine is. He's going to have to handle a lot of pressure as well. Good to see out of the quarterback. And then you have Michael Penix Jr. from Washington. Someone that, you know, you guys are not going to like my answer, but this is a guy I, that I want. I don't want him at number one. I would like to trade that number one, maybe get him at number nine. 6'2", 212 pounds, winner. I mean, this dude is a proven winner. Look at his stats over the last couple of years. Took down Caleb Williams this past year. Took down other top teams this past year. Almost made it to, won the whole darn thing for college football this past year. He might actually be the biggest sleeper that I've ever seen. Throws lefty, plays well, runs fast. Big kid, bulldozes over guys. Overall, I mean, like, call me crazy. It's not that I don't like Caleb Williams, Drake May, and all those other guys. I really do. I think they're fantastic athletes. But low risk, much higher reward if you take him later. You still get Marvin Harrison Jr. You get a lot of picks, and you get a quarterback to sit behind fields if you decide to go in a different direction. what? Is, I mean, Aaron Rodgers did it. Brady did it. A lot of guys did it in this league. Why not him? Just to put it out there, I'm sure the comments are going to go, whoa, Nick, like, how could you say that? Just... Let's see what he does at the combine. He has nothing to lose either. Super excited about him. Wow. A lot of guys I went through today. Was a ton of fun making this video. And I greatly appreciate your guys' support because the offseason is about to get freaking crazy, guys. I hope you're ready for it. Make sure to hit the subscribe button with notifications. To stay up to date on all Chicago Bears news as always. And please, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Like this video. Share it with a friend. See their thoughts too. And make sure you comment in the comment section below. But with that, thank you as always for tuning in this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Nick Rohde, and as always, bear down, baby.